I have this test application here on my NL Studio code and let's see how we can push this or upload this project to GitHub. So you'll need two things. You need to have installed Git on your local system and you need to have a GitHub account. To install Git, just go to this URL here, git scm.com slash downloads. I'll have this link in the description. Choose your preferred OS or whatever OS you are on and then just download it and then install it. If you want to see the whole process, check the link in the description below. Once you've downloaded Git, go to your GitHub and create a new project. So I've already logged in. If you're not uh, logged in, then log in. If you don't have an account, then create an account. And after you have logged in, write a name for your repository. I'll call it Android Test. And then click on Create New Repository. Once this is done, copy this URL. Okay. So later, if you lose this, it's nothing. It's just this URL that is your uh, github.com and then your username and then your repository name. Just copy this and now go back to your Android Studio. The first thing we need to do is initialize a local Git repository that we will push to GitHub. So to do that, first write git init. This means that we have created a Git repository locally. So if you go back to this folder here, wherever we have this project, you will notice a new folder had been created. So I'll just do open in Explorer. And this is where my project is. So if I go here, as you can see, this .git project is created. Sorry, .git folder is created. Now this contains everything that Git needs. Now after initializing, we need to do we need to define how many files we want to track or how many files we want to push and track changes for and so on. So let's say we want to push all these files to GitHub or track changes for all these files. So the command is git add and then period or full stop. And this will add see all these files to tracking so that we can commit and push these files to GitHub. Now I can close this because it seems very cluttered for now. And after you've added every file, what you need to do is just clear this. You need to run this command. Git commit dash am and then write initial commit or whatever you want. So this is just a message that won't, that makes you remember what you did in this change. So committing means that your files are ready to be pushed. So uh, once you commit, then only those changes will be pushed. Okay. So commit this and then we need to add where we want to push our code to. So remember, we had just copied this URL from here, right? So back to Android Studio and then do this git remote add origin and then paste that URL and in the end write dot git. Okay. Now hit enter and this is where your code will be pushed. If you want to check it, just write this command. So in push, this is the URL where it will be pushed. And in fetch or in pull, this is the URL from where your code will be pulled. Now just type git push origin and then a branch name. By default, you are on master branch. So I'll just push to master branch. And as you can see, we have successfully pushed our code. Now if I reload this, you will be able to see the code here. As you can see, all these are pushed just right now. So this is how you can upload or push your Android Studio project to GitHub. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.